Did you know that scripting and visualizing can actually hinder you from manifesting a specific person into your life? I'm going to share with you exactly why that is and what to do instead to guarantee manifesting your specific person instantly into your reality. Hi Lovebug, this is Priya, your Love Trust Manifestation Coach, and today these principles that I'm going to be sharing with you is what allowed me to effortlessly manifest my husband into my life and is also what allows me to continue to thrive in my relationship. Now before we begin, I want to address the topic of free will because many people believe that when you're manifesting a specific person, you are imposing on somebody else's free will, when in reality this is not the case and here's why. There isn't one physical version of reality that exists. In fact, there are infinite versions of physical reality that coexist simultaneously. And so when it comes to manifesting your specific person, what is really going on is that you are plugging yourself into a timeline where the version of that specific person that you desire already exists. So therefore, you are never really imposing on somebody else's free will. Now, if you want me to make a video about parallel realities and how free will fits into this, and then smash that like button and comment below to let me know. Now that we've cleared up that you are never really imposing on somebody else's free will when it comes to manifesting a specific person, let's get started. How to manifest a specific person into your reality instantly. Now, the first thing that I want you to acknowledge is that your desire is already done. Now, what do I mean by this? I mean that your higher self already knows what it is that you desire through the contrast that you have lived. And the split second that your higher self becomes privy to your desire to manifesting that specific person, your higher self lays out the cooperative components on your behalf to make your manifestation happen. So what this means is that by the time you acknowledge, hey, you know what, I have a desire to manifest a specific person, your manifestation is 99.999999% done. And in fact, you acknowledging that you have a desire is really about you catching up with who you have already become. So to simplify this further, what it means is that the manifestation of your specific person is already available to you. And the key to manifesting it into your reality, to becoming aware of what is already available to you, is about becoming an energetic match to it. Now you might be thinking, okay, well how do I become an energetic match to my desire? Well this then brings us on to the next principle which is about the dynamics between the energy of having and the energy of wanting. Now, in order to become an energetic match to the specific person that you want to manifest, you have to be able to get yourself into the energy of having it. And what happens with most people is that they stay stuck in the energy of wanting. So signs that you are in the energy of wanting is when you are feeling needy or when you are feeling desperate or when you are feeling impatient or when you are trying to make your manifestation happen, you're trying to force it into being. These are all signs that you're in the energy of wanting. And remember, you cannot manifest your specific person if you're in the energy of wanting, because you have to be in the energy of having it. When you are in the energy of having it, it means that you're an energetic match to your specific person. Now, in a bit, I'm going to share with you how you can get into the energy of having. But first, I want to bring to your attention a common pitfall that I see all the time. And that is scripting and visualizing from the energy of wanting. Now, so many people are scripting and visualizing their specific person from the energy of wanting. Now, when you are doing this, what will happen is that you will begin to feel that the scripting and visualizing feels fake, it feels forced, and it will make you feel worse. And energetically, here's what is happening when you are scripting from the energy of wanting. You are actually manifesting the opposite of what you want because the universe is not responding to what you are saying or what you are doing. The universe is responding to your energy and your energy is dictated by the way that you feel. 
So when you're scripting and visualizing from the energy of wanting, the signal that you're actually broadcasting to the universe is, I don't yet have my specific person. I don't yet have my specific person. And the universe is saying, yes, okay, I'm going to send you evidence to demonstrate to you that you don't yet have your specific person. Now, the key to getting around this is about being able to shift yourself from the energy of wanting and into the energy of having. Now, you might be thinking like, okay, Priya, that's great. How do I get into the energy of having? Well, this is achieved by first getting into the energy of wholeness. Now, the energy of wholeness says, I am good enough the way that I am, I am lovable the way that I am, and I am worthy the way that I am. Now, when you are dwelling at this state of consciousness, you begin to feel so whole and complete from the inside out that you don't need a single thing to change outside of you in order to feel good. Now, there are three components to the energy of wholeness. But before I get into that, if you are finding this content valuable, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell to be notified every time I post new videos about how to manifest your epic love life. And also, I want to hear from you. Are you somebody who's currently in the energy of wanting when it comes to manifesting that specific person into your reality? Comment below and let me know. Getting back to the three components of the energy of wholeness. The first component is believing that you are whole. Now, when you believe that you are whole, what this means is that you feel so good about yourself and about life in general. Now, when you begin to focus on your specific person from this state of consciousness, it will feel exhilarating to you. It will feel fun. It will feel satisfying. And you'll feel as if you already have your specific person. Now, when you are doing this, what is actually happening is that you are speeding up your manifestation. So when you believe that you are whole and you begin to focus on your specific person, you will feel that you have it. And this allows you to speed up your manifestation. The second component to the energy of wholeness, which is level two of the energy of wholeness, which is really the next level up, is about knowing that you are whole. Now, when you know that you are whole and knowing is more powerful than believing, because when you know, you know, what this means is that you feel so whole and complete from the inside out that how can you want from this state of being? How can you desire from this state of being? You feel so complete in every way that you no longer feel separate from anything. You are dwelling in the energy of oneness, which means that you feel so connected to everything. Now, when you're dwelling in the state of consciousness, what will happen is that you will no longer care whether the manifestation of your specific person happens or not. And here's what happens when you feel that way. Your manifestation will happen instantly. And here's why. It's because you have zero vibrational resistance. So when you have zero vibrational resistance because you're feeling so blissed out, so whole and complete from the inside out, the manifestation of your specific person will happen instantly. Now, the third component to the energy of wholeness is about the energy of clarity. Now, what do I mean by this? Well, once you begin to get into the energy of wholeness, you begin to dwell at a higher level of consciousness. And from there, you are able to tune into your authentic desires versus your desires governed by your ego. Now, why is this important? Well, because for most people, when it comes to manifesting a specific person, it comes from a space of being attached to that specific person. And this can often cloud so many people's judgment as to whether manifesting a specific person is what they truly want in their heart or if they have actually evolved past it. So using myself as an example, before manifesting my husband into my reality, when I broke up with my ex, I thought to myself, okay, I'm going to manifest him back into my reality. And so I started to do the inner work to get myself into the energy of wholeness. And very quickly, it became apparent to me that I no longer desired this specific person, that I had actually evolved past that relationship because I had expanded so much as an individual. Now, what was attractive to me was finding somebody 
who was aware of universal principles, who practiced, lived and breathed this stuff just like I did. And hence, I manifested my husband into my reality. Now, I'm not saying that this will happen to you because conversely, what could happen is that you could be so clear that manifesting a specific person is what is right for you and is truly what you want. But either way, my message is that you will be able to discern what is right for you. You will be able to discern what is truly in your heart and therefore you will be able to tap into your authentic desires easily. Another thing that I want to bring to your attention is that your higher self already knows what your authentic desires are through the contrast that you have lived. So by focusing on getting yourself into the energy of wholeness, what you are doing is that you are allowing yourself to catch up with who you have already become. So this is kind of coming back full circle here where at the beginning I mentioned to you that your desire is already done and the cooperative components have already been laid out on your behalf. So this third component of getting into the energy of clarity is so important because it really allows you to get clear from the get-go about what is truly in your heart. Meaning, do you truly desire to manifest a specific person or have you expanded past that? Have you evolved past that? that but now your dream relationship looks completely different and then from this state of consciousness because you will be in the energy of wholeness you will be able to effortlessly manifest your dream relationship instantly into your reality now a bit later on in this video i'm going to share with you how you can get into the energy of wholeness but first let's recap everything that you have learned here today you are now aware that your desire is already done. Your higher self has laid out the cooperative components on your behalf to make it happen. And your only job is to become an energetic match to your specific person so that you can allow it into your reality. You are also aware that in order to become an energetic match to your specific person, you have to be able to get into the energy of having it. And this is achieved by first getting into the energy of wholeness. Now, the energy of wholeness has three components to it. First component is about believing that you are whole. When you believe that you are whole, it means that you are feeling so good about yourself and life in general that when you begin to focus on your specific person from this state of consciousness, you are speeding up your manifestation. The second component to the energy of wholeness is about knowing that you are whole. So once you begin to really anchor yourself in the vibration of wholeness, you will know that you are whole. And this means that you will no longer care whether the manifestation of your specific person happens or not because you are feeling so blissed out. And in that instant, your manifestation will happen instantly. The third component of the energy of wholeness is about being in the energy of clarity. When you begin to get into the energy of wholeness, you'll be dwelling at a higher vibration. This will allow you to get clear about what is truly in your heart. You will be able to tune into your authentic desires so that you can discern if manifesting a specific person is what is right for you or if you have evolved past that and actually your dream relationship now looks very different. So to summarize, by focusing on getting into the energy of wholeness, you will be able to one, tune into your authentic desires around your dream relationship, and two, you will be able to effortlessly manifest it into your experience instantly. Now, if you wanna learn how to get into the energy of wholeness, click the link below to get access to my free masterclass, Six Steps to Manifest Your Soulmate Relationship, where I show you step by step exactly how to do this. Thanks for watching this video on how to manifest a specific person. Give me a thumbs up if it resonated for you and I will catch you soon.